Hello, this video will show you my light box where I, I use UV light to uh, break down the yellowing in my computer on my computer and later in the video I will show you a new disk drive I bought. It is broken and there's a cassette player and some books. Yeah, and uh, here's the power supply for the UV box. And you can see I have some keys in there I want to whiten. They have all been cleaned. So, and they sit there for like 12 hours, and you can see change after like 2 hours, but if you don't use UV light overnight, there's no change at all. So, I used uh, bleach uh, or blonde products. So, um, yeah. And here you can see the light head, and uh, there's a 5 meter strip of UV LEDs. It's a 12 volt uh, system. And I am. Um, I added a plug so it was easier to disconnect and reconnect. And uh, here you can see uh, you don't have to use the box, you can use a cupboard or a drawer. So here we have the space bar. It's in a vase, a rose vase actually. And um, that was because I didn't have enough fluid to sink it, everything down into. So. And here's the Commodore 64, and uh, it has been wrapped with a clear foil paper, uh, plastic covering, so it doesn't dry up while it is uh, bleaching. And uh, here you can see the keys on the top left. You have a yellow run-stop key, and uh, down to the right you see the keys are almost equal. So. Um, this is the result, and it's uh, yellow. I used the same light and the same settings on the camera, no automatic white balance. Yeah, it does work, and I will show you the new findings. This is my latest findings. I have bought the disk drive 1541 and the Commodore cassette player. I already have a cassette player, but these two devices are broken. And I, am, I will attempt to fix them, because I want to learn how to fix stuff now. So, uh, especially uh, classic computers. So, uh, this model here, this is actually uh, also known as the Commodore 51, 41 sorry, uh, C. And the reason for that is that it resembles the color of the Commodore 64 C. Cassette player, they it, it does rewind, but it doesn't play. And this button here, you can see when you press it halfway down, nothing happens. And this is mine, halfway down, it's almost open. Yeah, so uh, I think it's only a belt in there, but that needs replacing. But look here, there's a hole. <laughs> Anyway, I uh, I think I will use that for parts. Oh, first I want to try and fix it. So. Yeah, and I also got some books. Look at this. Games. Basic. So here we can uh, write games. There's also uh, sprites in here. Sprite. Luna model module. <laughs> Fuel marker. CBM64 with the VC1541. Okay, so they also call the drives for VIC or VC. And that one came in 82 and 83, and this one came in 1986. The owner of this uh, drive to told me that uh, it doesn't read disks, uh, it makes these staggering noises. So, um, I will look into that. Uh, in contrast, contrast to the 1988 model, this one has a power supply inside. That's why it's so long. And here you can see the two disk ports for to con connect to the Commodore 64, and uh, this one is if you have a second drive. I hope you liked the video, and I will tear this sucker down very gently and try to fix it. See you next time!